our coaches and players uh, really offensively, defensively, kicking down. Uh, you know, we've been in some wars with Kansas State, and uh, I was fully expecting this one to be the same, especially how the game started, and just back and forth. And, uh, you know, it looked like it was going to be pretty low scoring, and just for us to uh, be able to uh, play like that on, on all three sides is, is uh, very, you know, very happy with, obviously. <coughs> Kansas State does a they don't lose like that. It's hard to beat those guys like that. It's a really tough team. Thanks for coming. Dan, just the um, keeping with the track, even though the kids miss some opportunities for our and not getting frustrated with this time. Just a mature team, or how is it? Uh, well, we're we were moving the ball. <coughs> you know, I don't. What do you have four turnovers or something? I don't know. Uh, my stance on turnovers is. Where do you have turnovers and what do you do with them? This is two years in a row we've turned the ball over against these guys and our defense has stepped up and not let the score. <clears throat> so, you know, we turned it over twice in the first two possessions, but field position wise, it didn't hurt us in the ones on the two and one time on the twenty. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like putting, you know. So, you know, we, we talk all about that a lot. And we turn the ball over against one thing, but what happens when we turn? I think our mindset <clears throat> as a team right now, um, and this is this is this this means we got a chance to be a good team is play together and feed off of each other when it comes to that. You know, we got to clean some things up when it comes to the turnovers, and we finally got them. On the defense. I see that too. But that fourth down stops just like a turnover, right? Yeah, <clears throat> we capitalized on that offensively. So uh, you know that's the proud that we played together as a team. And, Working on it. Is it fair to say that uh, the game may have been may have been won when they had uh, second and one, second and one and went three times for it and didn't didn't make it? It's kind of turned things loose some things up. Well, when was that? It was second quarter. <coughs> second middle, quarter they were in the middle of the field. They were like on the forty three. Was that the fourth down stop? Yeah. They also had second second and one, third yeah, and one. A lot of this stuff runs together. Yeah. Right. But uh, and, yeah, I mean that was a key. That was a key point. Was it seven nothing at that time? Yeah. yeah. Seven nothing. We stopped them on fourth down. We scored and we stopped them, and then we two minute drive down and scored again. Uh, I'm sure we all were questioning the time on the clock, but uh, you know, finished that half pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> but then came out and continued playing well in the third quarter. We didn't do that last year. You know, we had 28 points and scored right before half, and went out there in the second half and. Then so that was talked about uh, in the locker room. We went out there and we put, we put two uh, touchdowns on in the third quarter, which was good to see. You know, on that play, were you prepared to say, okay, if the clock runs out, that's fine, that's our best play here? Or were you thinking that you <coughs> no, give the one second? I'd like to think that we know how long it takes to execute a play. So you know, it's either going to be caught for a touchdown or incomplete. You know, probably going to be one second on the clock. I felt better when that thing went to six. Five is kind of. I wanted to take a chance. I mean, you know, it's hard to get down there. I obviously felt good about Will and David <clears throat> because they just knew that so much. You know, the percentages were in our favor. And, uh, and, uh, what, do you, what do you do against him when he got the slant on a one yard touchdown pass? He's like, well, I can guard that and get the fade. I mean, if you're playing cornerback, you got to put, put more people out there. <laughs> and when, you, when they put more people out there, we run I mean, they, their, their philosophy on defense, they put five D linemen in there and they got everybody in the box. <clears throat> I mean, we can, you know, we had packages with two tight ends and a fullback, but we had a, we had a package where we didn't even have a receiver up there. That doesn't make any sense when we had it. So he's, he's really hard to, to, to cover in the red zone. So you got to put more people on there, which is going to open up the run game. <clears throat> Because those guys are so good at it, I mean, it's you know, fader outside the goal line or low percentage in general. But when you have those guys, it's pretty high percentage. So we'll keep going. Dan, how did you feel about the performance of the defense today? You pulled them to six points. Yeah. Seemed like you guys were able to get them off the field on third down. Yeah, pretty line. good. You know, <clears throat> it is. Uh, I, I thought we played pretty good against them last year defensively, and this was 
a lot better performance. You know, we've done pretty good against these guys in defense, so this was the best performance yet. Um, you know, third downs, third, fourth game. <coughs> you know, so quite, quite well. You know, really like where we're at defensively. Might be hard to say before you see the tape, but which of your units do you think you've learned the most about today? Well, it's only game three, and we haven't played in two weeks. So we needed to get out there and play. I, I, you know, there's going to be things on all three sides that, that we run. Um, it's, still, it's still relatively early in the season. We're a veteran team, and you know, we have great continuity with coaches. Uh, but I think we're still trying to figure out who we are. Dana, why do you think defensively you're just consistently disrupted this seems like in three games? It seems like you, your guys are fast and a number of people get to the action. <clears throat> yeah, not playing a ton of snaps, not getting tired helps. When you have D linemen that can rotate, you have corners that can rotate. Um, you, 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 and then the plays are down because you're getting off the field on third down. Um, it, it, keep, it keeps them fresh. So you know, when our guys are fresh and they're fast, they're going to be disrupted. You guys we know? haven't had that situation in. Since I've been here, yeah. I got you. Right. <laughs> uh, we haven't had that situation since I've been here. But we have D linemen that we can roll with right now, which has made, which has made us better. Sorry, Brendan. Um, you guys had the ESPN game day thing on, on Will today, and obviously there's been the Heisman campaign and everything like that. Was there ever um, a doubt or a question in your mind, like, I don't want to overload this kid? Or was he always someone who could yeah. handle that? Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about overloading him. He, he's mature. He, he's, he's grounded, he's comfortable with where he's at. He, he puts high expectations on him. So, so us adding to it doesn't affect him. He's grown up in, in the football office, coach his kid, said it a hundred times. <coughs> you know, he just he, he he knows how to handle this. He, he's a he's a he's a professional that's in college. And he just understands how to how to do it because he's played a lot. He's played so much football. It's why Baker Mayfield's had the success that they had with his performance was the other night and not surprised him because he played four years at a big time high school in Texas and he played five years in the Big Twelve and he played a lot of snaps. That, that that's where I think Will's at from a snap perspective and a maturity. I'm not comparing him to one of them the fact that, that he's old and he's mature and he's playing a lot of things are slow and, and, and it's making sense to him. I, I, I haven't been worried about it. How, what would be the best way to describe your defensive unit? Sum it up. <coughs> uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I got a couple of things that I'm not going to share with you. Uh, you know, I'll be positive. You know, they're, 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 they're a fun group to coach. You know, Gibby's got a headache right now. Uh, but uh, they're, they're a fun group to coach. They're, they're fast. They're, Disruptive, probably reckless at times, uh, but we have confidence on that side, and we got we got experience, and we got leadership, and um, it's, it's fun to watch. Before the season, a lot was made about the depth and the experience of the defensive line, and now it seems like through coaching and recruiting, that might be one of the best unit or the best unit on the defense. Can you talk a bit about the recruiting, the coaching that took it from really questionable to looking like a strong unit? Yeah, we, we weren't very good on the D-line last year. You know, we had young kids and experienced guys, selfish guys. Um, you know, this, this year it's different. You, you move some guys and you add some guys, uh, it can change the whole outlook of the entire unit real quick. <clears throat> you know, Kenny Bigelow is one of our most positive guys that I've been around. He's got no reason to be positive. But, but he is. He likes it here. He's having fun. He likes his teammates. And he likes his coaches. And he likes the school. Uh, you know, so he's playing his tail off. Jabril's the same way. You know, Jabril, he's, he's fun to hear and they play hard. You know, having the Stills brothers as, as uh, guys that are you know, Mountaineers at heart and grew up loving this place and would do anything that they can just to help it. Reese is the same way. See, so he's a pleasure to be around. A great leader. The whole dynamic of the the room is different. It's made our defense better. <clears throat> in your special teams, and 
is taken off is the current return in four years. So, are you a big part of the RGI? <laughs> I'm not. I'm a net pro gang. So, when we have opportunities to, to fair catch it, then we'll fair catch it. You know, if they shag it, then shame on them. It's a net punt. Um, the one punt return was, was, was pretty good because he, he realistically outkicked his coverage. You know, so what's good, what's good with a 60 yard punt if you can catch it and you run 20 yards without anybody being there? So I don't, I've never paid attention to punt return yardage. It's nice to have a special guy like Kayvon that can make 10 guys miss and get a score. You know, TCU's got one of those guys that can do that. Marcus is doing a great job of fielding it, uh, and it's all about that. Danny, your, your slot guy is getting vertical. Seems like it's more common this year than maybe years past, even not just last year, too. How much of, I guess, how much of an emphasis or how much of a difference is that? Mm, I just find it different ways to target. David and Gary, I think, is probably a smart guy. Uh, you know, we've always had vertical stuff. Seam routes and all that good stuff, we've always had that. We're, we're better at executing that in hard. How many times have you heard me say that we're just not very good at that, that, that being a drop back passing? We went through a phase where we weren't too good at it. But we're probably pretty good at it right now. Conversely, is this the best job you feel like you've done against K State? It's the return teams by far. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game's hard. And these guys, these guys are extremely well coached. Sean Snyder does a great job with the, with the, with the two units. They're always, you know, we've lost games because of that. And, you know, our our kickoff team is performing really well. It's placing the ball well and getting down the field. And uh, they were number one in the Big Twelve prior to today, and I think we've had them in seven twenty. Happy that uh, phase right now. No, he didn't have the best, but he only punted twice. But, you know, got under Matt Pooch, and then the second one he kind of overthought it a little bit. But uh, feel good about that.